Hello, my name is B, and I'm a non-surgical hair loss replacement specialist. Today, we're going to break down all your questions about hair loss and wigs. All the way from, are wigs bad for your hair? To, how to prevent hair loss while wearing your wigs. So if you're ready to dive in, make sure you hit that like button and share this with someone that you know is suffering from hair loss. B, 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 B. myth that only people without hair wear wigs and many women wonder if wigs are bad for your hair but despite what some may believe wigs are not inherently bad for your hair just like anything there can be improper care or application that leads to damage but if applied correctly there should be no harm done to your actual hair or hair growth process while wearing wigs in fact if done properly your hair can begin to flourish under your wigs don't worry We'll talk about that later. I've seen discussion on the internet and TikTok that wigs are not actually a protective style and that they do more harm to your hair than good. And this is just simply not true. I, and I hate that this misinformation keeps getting spread because it's leading women from an alternative hairstyle that could actually benefit them for fear of damage to their hair. So to be clear, wigs can be a protective hairstyle and cause no damage to your hair at all, but they have to be done properly. And I can already hear someone saying, But what about my wigs? I know many girls who would snatch out their edges. And again, I say that's not all the way true. Can lace wigs damage your hairline? Absolutely. But how does that happen? I speak at length on my channel and across my social media about the dangers of lace glue. And that is what is more leading to hair loss than wigs themselves. If you're worried about wigs causing hair loss, I completely understand. Especially because the number of black women suffering from alopecia has increased dramatically over the past decade. Many times, clients are not only uneducated, but stylists are unable to educate their clients on lace glue and its dangers. So, can wigs lead to hair loss? Possibly, some common factors from wearing wigs that could lead to some damage to your hair are improper use of adhesives, improper removal of adhesives, ill-fitted wigs, not protecting your hair up under the wigs, and not treating your hair in between styles. Remember, glue and all these adhesives are a chemical. And what we want to do, especially if we are combating hair loss, is make sure that we're not causing any excess strain or putting putting many outside factors onto an already strained area. Many times people are using these adhesives, whether it's glue or tape, without even using a patch test. A patch test ensures that you will not have an allergic reaction from whatever chemicals are used in these products. So if you do use that lace glue and you have a, have a reaction to it, you could, you could inadvertently cause hair loss or the exacerbation of hair loss that's already there. Another way that wigs could possibly cause some damage is if you are not properly protecting your hair up under the wig. And there are many ways to properly protect your hair from wearing a wig cap to making sure that your wig fits you properly because an ill-fitted wig could cause friction up against your hair and your edges and cause some breakage. So wearing wigs themselves is not the problem, but you do want to be actively preventing hair loss while you are wearing your wigs. Now, how do you do that? One of the first and easiest ways to prevent hair loss while wearing wigs is to opt for glueless units. Glueless options allow you the ease and flexibility of wearing different styles without without subjecting yourself to chemicals that could exacerbate your hair loss. And I do want to make this clear. If done properly, there is nothing wrong with gluing down your wigs. However, I do not recommend doing it yourself. And I recommend going to a professional who is going to educate you on how to maintain and remove the, those adhesives. Think about it. If you are removing a wig that has been glued down, even if you are only snatching out five to ten strands of hair each time you remove it over time that's an excessive amount of hair and I know y'all have seen the videos of girls just snatching wigs off that have been glued down even if it's 
the like got to be glued or the adhesive sprays that are just kind of more like hairspray versus glue you still have to make sure that when you take your wigs off you are doing so with care and with patience as to not rip out the hair that you have there it is so difficult to make sure that you're only gluing down to skin when you are able to look at the area yourself that's why i always recommend going to see a professional a professional is able to see those little fine hairs that you might not be able to see on your own head if you're gluing them down at home another benefit of wearing a glueless wig is that you're able to treat your scalp throughout the week or however long you decide to wear that wig and when we are when we are trying to combat hair loss what you really want to do is focus on your scalp Remember, your hair is like a plant and your scalp is the soil. You want to make sure that that soil is getting all the nutrients that it needs so that your plant can grow. And it's easier to do that when you're able to take your wigs off nightly and treat your scalp as needed. Another benefit of glueless wigs is that there are no chemical reactions. You don't have to worry about excessively using alcohol to cleanse the area. You don't have to worry about any allergens that may be in the adhesive itself so those are some benefits to opting for a glueless unit when you're treating your scalp you want to make sure that you are also cleansing it regularly i know in the natural hair community there is this thought that you should only shampoo your hair maybe once a month but i am not a part of that school of thought especially when i'm dealing with my clients who are suffering from hair loss i believe that it is important to keep your scalp cleansed if, if not weekly, bi-weekly, just to make sure that you're not getting an excess amount of buildup from sebum, from products, from just any contaminants that could stop your hair from really flourishing. And it's hard to do that when you have a wig glued to your head. Also, do not use wigs as a substitute for actually taking care of your hair. That's what takes wigs from being a protective style to being damaging to your hair. What a protective style does is allow you to treat your hair and to put the nutrients in your hair that is needed and then cover it up so that those nutrients can stay locked in. That is what makes it protective. It protects the ends and seals the ends of your hair so that they're not constantly breaking and shedding and things like that. that so if you are not doing that step first, then a wig is not a protective style for you. Another way to prevent hair loss while wearing your wigs is to make sure that you do not have an ill-fitted wig. And a lot of times that happens if your wig is too small. That could cause extra rubbing and friction, friction against your hair that just slowly pulls out little hairs at a time. So that is why I would suggest making sure that you get the proper measurements for your wig so you know if you need a small, medium, or large wig cap or get a custom unit. That way you know that it fits your head. Also, it is important to wear wig caps. And I'm not even going to hold you. I'm guilty of not always wearing my wig cap under my wigs. But that wig cap is an extra layer of protection. One, it helps to seal in that moisture um, that you created in the base of your hair. As well as protect your hair from the fibers of the wig in whatever capacity. Whether you know you have an open cap wig or whatever. So those are just some of the answers to your common questions about wigs and hair loss. If you have any more questions, please feel free to drop them down in the comments and I'll make sure that I get them answered for you. If you would like to learn more about hair loss, alopecia, wigs, or how to wear them without glue, make sure you check out my Go Without Glue course. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you've learned something from this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and check out a playlist of all of my other hair loss videos. I give you a lot of information, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on any more. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace. This is a quick snippet of my Go Without Glue course. Join this course if you are a woman suffering from alopecia so that you can learn how to choose, install, and maintain a medical wig. And for a limited time, I have a special promo code, enter promo code intro to receive $50 off of this course. You do not want to miss it. Make sure you head on over to www.bssu.com and join my course today. To everyone else, don't forget to follow me on all socials, links in the D-Box. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.